Good evening boys and girls and welcome back to the channel. If you're new my name is Lee aka Rolling Thunder and in today's video yes we are finally back on two wheels so without further ado let us get into the video. So boys and girls welcome back to another video. First proper motor vlog video in a long 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 time. One that which I've been waiting to do since last Friday but thankfully managed to get around to doing today and that's all down to the lovely people down at Bike Nuts if it wasn't for those guys Reese and Aaron I would not be on my bike now and I would not be happy but as you can tell I am happy finally got my bike back finally got my um, Terminoni exhaust back on and life is good so as you can imagine I'm a very 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 happy bunny right now I'm also attempting to try my two camera setup again i.e. the Hero 7 on my face and the session on my uh, mirror I've also invested in a purple panda microphone which I have situated in my cheek pad on the right side of my face so with any luck you guys should be hearing me loud and clear I'm hoping you are anyway thanks to the weather getting a little bit shitty I've had to crack my visor open a tiny bit but on the whole life is good life is fucking excellent right now for me I've got my baby back also if you didn't already notice uh, with the two camera setup I have actually invested in if you give me a second I will show you I have actually invested in a GoPro remote which is currently situated right there and the idea behind getting that is is that it's supposed to make um, my vlogs or should I say syncing up the two cameras a little bit easier for me because if anyone knows when you're trying to do a two three four or any sort of multiple camera setup things don't always go according to plan which is why having this little fella here is hopefully going to resolve all my issues because when I hit record in theory both cameras will turn on both cameras will start recording simultaneously and then when it comes to post-production syncing them up should be a breeze also I'd like to make people aware that I am still using my uh, Arai RX7V which I am loving by the way I love it, I love it, I love it I have got a new pair of gloves I'm going to be reviewing very soon by a company called Five which are the RFX 2s if I remember rightly the bike passed the MOT without any issues which I'm equally ecstatic about I am however very very rusty when it comes to the old uh, filtering and such like so please bear with me while I get back into the swing of things and hopefully not get taken out by this fucking dirty great lorry which I'm not, yay! small victories and such so just a quick brief recap on where things are in terms of the bike so bike nuts Aaron, uh, sorry, yeah, Aaron and Reese. They have uh, taken her for an, an MOT, so she's now completely and utterly totally roadworthy. She's had her timing belts replaced. She's also had uh, valve clearances checked, and oh, excuse me. She's also had two exhaust shims replaced, which were slightly out of spec. Now, I'm not 100% sure on that old jargon so you have to forgive me I'm not that mechanically minded I mean obviously I've taken my bike apart enough times so I should know but it's not always easy you know what I mean when when you've not been on a bike for so long I mean I've not ridden I've not ridden my 1098 for well since lockdown really so it's been at least three months so as you can imagine I'm very very rusty but hopefully with a few with a few twists of the wrist shall we say and a little bit of fun we will be back into the swing of things believe me when I say this being back on two wheels is somewhat of a fucking reprieve it, it, in actual fact it's more than a reprieve it's an absolute fucking godsend right now here you've got dirt on your lens I mean I got a, I got a thumbs up from a car driver how about that that's an unusual sight 
if I'm not mistaken I think that was a Mercedes driver as well which is even more rare but either way I digress the case in point is this I'm back on two wheels and that's all I fucking care about yay also what do people think of the uh, the chin mount setup that I'm currently uh, doing or currently using should I say this uh, this little setup was actually inspired by the guys at 44 teeth I'll put a link in uh, in the card above or in the description to the video that actually gave me the inspiration to give this particular setup a go. The only real difference between the setup that they're using and the setup that I'm using is I'm using the extended 90 degree mount and I've basically bodged the skeleton case to the extended 90 degree mount by basically blocking up the, ins the insides of the two mounts and bolting them together side by side rather than intertwining as such. That's basically how I've done it. Primarily because I wanted to try and keep the weight down where I could. And also the fact that um, I'd like people's f feedback and thoughts as to whether or not this is a worthwhile setup. I mean, it looks alright to me. Does it look alright from what you can see? I'm hoping it does, because I'm hoping to rock this setup from now on. Because what it also means is, is that where I'm looking looking around like this I can actually see everything in my vision rather than when I look down slightly say for example I look down at the dash like so instead of seeing the top of the camera in my peripheral vision down, down here some down here somewhere I'm actually not seeing any of it it's like I, the camera's not even on my face that's how comfortable this setup feels I mean, it may not look the prettiest, I know, in fact, I definitely know it doesn't look the prettiest. But if it works, if it works for the likes of uh, Monsieur Fagin and Monsieur Grimbel, I'm sorry, that French accent is fucking abysmal, I'm sorry. If it's good enough for them, it's bloody well good enough for me. And I am loving every second. I'm also exceptionally glad to get rid of my standard exhausts. I know those exhausts are needed for MOTs and such like, but man, I'm so glad they are off the bike now. Even Reese down at Bike Nights even said, yeah, mate, those cans do sound kind of shit, don't they? I mean, those aren't his exact words, but that's the gist I got anyway. I know it did take Bike Nights a little bit longer than I expected, or a little bit longer than even they expected to get the parts in and stuff like that, you know, due to COVID and whatever else, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, it's not exactly anyone's fault, do you know what I mean? But with regards to what they've done both Aaron and Reese. Reese is the owner of, of uh, Bike Nuts you know top geezer f former Ducati technician himself I believe and uh, Aaron who's a young lad that I spoke to when I first dropped the bike off he's also a really nice lad as well very both of them sorry I know it sounds like I'm shouting but I'm that excited both of them are very, very nice guys to talk to, very easy to talk to. I could spend hours talking to Reese and Aaron about my bike and about Ducatis in general. Out of the way, buddy. But all in all, I can't fault them. Reese and Aaron, two top gazers, very, very nice, approachable people. I can't argue one way or another. Two very, very nice fellas. Really easy to get on with, really easy to talk to. What they've done for me in the last month, I can't ask for better. I really can't. I can't sing their praises highly enough. Both of them, Reese and Aaron, both really, really approachable people. I know I keep saying it, but they really are nice guys. Really, really spot on people. And I'm getting a, either getting a thumbs up or I'm getting a, someone waving a joint at me for some reason. But anyway, I'm gone. So as you can imagine, I really, really hope that uh, Bike Nuts as a business takes off and they start getting a lot more work. Those guys deserve it, they really do. Really, really nice guys. Okay, they're just, they're, they're a very, very newly formed business. So you can't expect the world from them straight away. But, I reckon they're going to be a very, very sought after commodity in the very near future.
and that's just my personal opinion obviously you know I don't expect people to take my word as gospel but you know with the work they've done to the bike I can't fault them the timing belts was done efficiently the valve clearance was done even more efficiently when they did the uh, the shims Reese actually showed me a diagram of all the shims and all the different measurements that they took what was right what was wrong what they did to adjust it let's get past these two twats and honestly I can't I can't fault them they're absolutely faultless you know their work ethic is is really really good their communication is even better that's the sort of guys that they are do you know what I mean they're just that you know humble wholesome individuals and another thing that, that, that impressed me quite a bit by these guys is that uh, they actually kept the bits from the bike that they replaced like the timing belts and so on for me to see for them to show me that you know these are the bits we've done these are the bits we've replaced yada 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 and I said to Reese you know you don't have to show me these things and you know, I believe you do you know what I mean but he was like no 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 the reason I do it mate is because I don't want people to think that we're shafting them I want people to know that we're actually doing them a decent job and I was like dude I believe you I really do but it's like you know I can't, I can't fault them I really can't I can't wait to get more work done with them I want to get the bike dynoed as well I want to find out what this fucking stupid stalling bollocks is and apparently uh, I didn't know this at the time but Reese actually said to me that uh, he's actually seen me on the road in Tooting and I'm like have you and he's like yeah mate I've seen I've seen you go down Tooting High Street and I was like have you really what a fucking small world that wasn't me being sarcastic or patronizing by the way it's like literally I couldn't believe when he said yeah mate I've seen your bike down Tooting High Road and this that, and the other I was like shut up really and he's like yeah yeah I've seen it I've seen it that's a really poor impression of him as well I'm sorry Reese, if you ever watch this video, I'm sorry, mate. But anyway, just the sheer professionalism of such an infant, not an infantile, but a company in its infancy. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe the professionalism that they were showing. I mean, granted, I know that um, with Reese being the, the one of the owners of the business, he has got to do a lot of stuff. You know, there's a lot of things that he needs to do. There's a lot of places he needs to be, you know, parts and suppliers and all the rest of it, yada yada yada. So I understand that there's a lot of stuff involved when it comes to running the business. But Reese, my friend, I cannot thank you enough. I cannot argue the bike feels amazing underneath me. I know it's been a couple of months, uh, well, a couple of months since I last rode her properly. Yeah, so this, this is the first time in fuck knows how long I've actually ridden all the way to my girlfriend's. either way she feels fucking amazing my friend absolutely amazing and that's another thing I'm thinking about getting uh, bike nuts to do as well as the dyno work and all the rest of it I might even see if they can recommend a quick shifter for this bike oh could you imagine the 10 out with a quick shifter bop, bop, bop. She would sound naughty. I mean, she sounds naughty already, but she will sound even more naughty. I do have to put on the uh, the aftermarket Oberon slave cylinder, which I'm going to do myself at some point in the very near future. I don't know when, but in the next week or so, I'll probably stick that on. So that should hopefully make the pull and the clutch a little bit easier on my old fingers. But other than that, ladies and gents, I can't really say too much more other than. than nuts oh literally the nuts just as a first impressions and the first time that I've actually had work done by bike nuts I cannot fault it I really can't so I know I've said it before and I'll say it again if you are looking to have work done on your bike and you're in the Morden Sutton Kingston Roehampton sort of anywhere south southwest SW1920 K, the KT postcodes or SM postcodes or whatever be sure to check out uh, bike nuts and what I'll do is I will leave a link in the description so you guys can have a look at their website 
and get a feel for what they're about. But like I've said before, and I'll say again and again and again, cannot fault them, really can't. Amazing customer service, amazing communication, very well priced as well. I'm not going to go into the specifics of how much things have cost because that will bore you to death. But on the whole, I cannot fault bike nuts. In their entirety, the business in general, the communication, you know, they've got an Instagram page, they've got a Facebook page, they've got their own website. You know, Reese was kind enough to message me on Instagram this morning to let me know what the deal was with the bike, saying that it was on charge and it was ready to be picked up and yada, yada, yada. This last piece has decided to go around the outside of me. What are you hoping to achieve, bruv? Dickhead. But anyway, on the whole, bike nuts, amazing people, amazing guys to talk to, amazing guys to actually deal with. I don't know what you're doing, bruv. But, like I said, on the whole, cannot fault them. I cannot fault them at all. Fucking hell, I actually got a thank you from the Fed. I must be doing something right today. It's amazing how things can change in the space of a couple of weeks. I'm in a good mood, I'm in a good place, the bike's feeling good, apart from that one initial stall which we had a couple of minutes ago. She's running strong, she's running pop, she's running hard. It's almost like she's a fucking brand new bike again. And I do apologise for the swearing, ladies and gents, I can't help myself. I'm in that much of a good mood as like fucking hey, whoa! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I miss the gear lever. <laughs> but you know what? I don't care. I'm still in a fucking good mood. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mini Driver. Thank you very much. Again, another unforeseen pleasantry of riding in South London. Oh, KTM Adventure. I haven't seen one of those for a while. That's fucking naughty. Oh, it feels so good to be back on two wheels, ladies and gents. You have no idea. I'm ecstatic, and if I wasn't seen leaning over a tank, I'm pretty sure I'd have an erection. What is wrong with me? See, this is what happens when you're in your 30s and you start riding super bikes. It's like, oh no, I've got a boner. <laughs> uh, but ladies and gents, thank you for joining me on this uh, first of many videos of 2021. It's been a fucking donkey's age since I was last on a bike. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I didn't shout too much. I hope you uh, were able to hear what I was saying. I hope I wasn't uh, too screechy. I do apologise that I do sound like a bit of a schoolgirl. Purely because I'm in f I am fucking enjoying myself. So for now, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you liked it even more, drop a subscribe. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching my antics on two wheels. So for now, this is Lee, aka Rolling Thunder, saying look after yourselves, look after each other, stay safe on the roads, stay away from COVID-19, and as always, adios!